Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today I will share another message I read from Facebook and a short teaching that I feel important for us to know in these last days. This message was posted by Moses P. yesterday, November 26, 2023. Here is the translation of the message. The title of the message is Vision Message for the 144 Army of God who have been sealed. The time is near, already at the door. Shalom, the vision message of a child of God who received the same message I received. When something big is about to happen over the nations, I have a plan for them. I will send all over the earth my army, 144,000 servants of God who have been sealed. They will stand strong and tough to face a various tests and attacks from the new world order. They are part of my bride who will walk to destroy the strongholds of the evil one. They receive orders directly from me, like cell phone signals. He will hear from me, speak through his spiritual ears, guiding and directing as chaos strikes your planet. Remember, from the ashes will emerge my perfect beauty. My perfect beauty is a husband and wife standing together serving me, and their children bear witness to my faithfulness in their lives. I will rule the, the world once again and the plans of the enemy will not be able to stop the massive harvest of souls that I have planned. Entire settlements will be freed, houses will be restored and if, even cities will get weeks of revival. Look forward to this time because it was planned from the beginning. This will happen and my will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Maranatha. Jesus bless you. That's all the message, brothers and sisters. Please take it to the Lord in prayers. Brothers and sisters in Christ, today I will also share a short teaching related to the message that I just shared above. In the message above, it is mentioned about 144,000 army of God who have the seal of God. This is written in the Bible in the Revelation 7 verses 2 to 4. Let us read. Then I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees, till we have sealed the servants of God on their foreheads. And then from Revelation 14, verse 1, then I looked, and behold, a lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, having his father's name written on their foreheads. Brothers and sisters in Christ, what is the seal of God that are mentioned several times in the book of Revelation? The seal of God is the Holy Spirit. This is written in Ephesians 1 verse 13. In him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Brothers and sisters in Christ, the meaning of sealed with the Holy Spirit is not just saying or confessing, we believe in Jesus, going to church every Sunday, and so on. The most important thing we must ask ourselves is, are we truly born again or not? Jesus said in the book of John, Unless we are born of the water and the spirit, we cannot enter the kingdom of God. Born again or born by the spirit means there is a transformation in our lives by the Holy Spirit. This transformation is from the inside and it will produce a repentant life, which means we are living our old selves, sinful or worldly lifestyle, and we are walking a new life in Christ. The new life in Jesus Christ means we walk by the Spirit and not by flesh. We walk in obedience to His commandments, walk in holiness and righteousness. This is written in Galatians 5 verses 16 to 25. Let us read, brothers and sisters. So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other, so that you are not to do whatever you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The acts of the flesh are obvious, sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambitions, dissensions, factions and envy, drunkenness, orgies and the like. I warn you as I did before, 
that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such thing there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its, its patience and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let's, let us keep in step with the Spirit. So the fruits of the Spirit are the evidence or proof that we have the Holy Spirit. That's why it is very important for us to ask or examine ourselves, are we truly born again or not? Because too many Christians nowadays just professing Jesus with their mouths but denying the power of the Holy Spirit, which means they are still walking by their flesh but claim to be born again or believers of Jesus. If we walk by the Spirit daily and we live a repentant life, our salvation is secure and we are sealed with the Holy Spirit. Don't be deceived, brothers and sisters. Many false teachings only talk about the promise that God will give to His true bride, but never tell people to repent and obey God. Jesus clearly said that unless we are born again, we cannot enter the kingdom of God. That's all I'd like to share, brothers and sisters. I hope this message can encourage us and help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.